There is something called retrograde menstruation and happens to almost every lady out there. It's interesting and scarce some at the same time, but for us to learn how this usually happens, let's first of all get to know how it actually happens. Now, uh, this is a female reproductive organ. Okay, I'm not the best when it comes to drawing, but at least you have an idea. These are the ovaries, and then we have the fallopian tube called the oviduct, and then we have the uterine cavity, and you have the uterine wall, and this is our vaginal canal. Actually, let's make it a little bit comfortable for Brio. What usually happens is you have four hormones. We have follicle-stimulating hormones, and then you have luteinizing hormone. You remember this usually trigger ovulation. This causes maturation of that egg, and then depending on what happens, in case there is fertilization, then uh, progesterone will be produced. In case there is no fertilization, then estrogen will be uh, produced. Now, this estrogen is now the one that will be responsible for demolition of this wall. Now, you, you already have this wall, so it will be demolished. And this is what usually flow out as the menstrual flow. This is the menses. Now, not every content of this wall will move down through the vaginal canal. Some of it usually go up through the oviduct. And because this is like an open funnel, so there is an opening here between the ovary and this. And actually, what usually happens here, when you get an egg that's already mature and then luteinizing hormone causes ovulation, it's usually kind of sucked out of the ovary. So there is a, a space here. Now, this blood will flow outside and then get into your abdomen now you see this is the ovary now between this this funnel and uh, now the ovary this piece it falls into your abdomen and this is what usually cause sometimes those undesirable effects when you're when you're menstruating sometimes you might find that the cells here the endometrial cells are carried up, 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 and then they fall into your abdomen and they go and attach themselves into other organs in your body. Now, this blood containing endometrial cells that fell into your abdominal cavity might not be cleared in time, especially if the quantity is high, and those cells might attach themselves onto other organs. And this is where you're going to find what we call endometriosis. Endo, endometriosis. So this is where that usually happens. This is the growth of this. This is the endometrial wall. So this tissue here growing in other regions of the body, especially the abdominal cavity, because this is where it's, it's more prone, although the cells can grow almost anywhere in the body. Not everyone will usually get endometriosis, despite a big percentage having this retrograde menstruation. But most of the people usually are able to clear the blood that usually fall into their abdomen in time because you're not losing much blood into your abdominal cavity through this point here. And this is why sometimes you might get people with very light menses because some of it fell into the abdominal cavity through the retrograde menstruation path.